A recent quality control check by the Central Drug Standard Control Organization has raised concerns over the safety and efficacy of 53 medicines. Amongst the medicines that have failed to pass the test include paracetamol, which is a household famous, very common medicine that is used as a pain reliever and also PAN-D, once again a very well-known antacid. The Indian drug uh, regulator has conducted tests on pharmaceutical products regularly, of course, to ensure that they keep up with the quality as well as safety standards. Several drugs have been identified as quote-unquote not of standard quality and have not been able to meet the prescribed quality norms as per the latest reports. This includes vitamin B complex, shell cal, vitamin C, rifmin, 550, uh, nimesulide, paracetamol and many others. The question of course arises is, should there be a concern amongst the public with this report? I have three doctors who are joining me on the broadcast, Dr. Sanjeev Bagai. We also have with us uh, on the broadcast, Dr. Ishwa Gilada. And we have uh, with us, of course, Dr. Prashant Sinha as well on the broadcast. Uh, if we can just take quickly what we have on our screens and show it to our viewers as well uh, before I bring in our doctors. I just want to show you viewers this is uh, what was released list of drugs, medical devices, vaccine and cosmetics declared as spurious, adulterated or misbranded for the month of August 2024 which includes uh, it is this uh, particular circular includes five names. It has Palmosil, it has Pantacid, it has Ursocol 300, it has Thelma H and it has uh, Deflazacort. All right. And at the same time, three of these medications we can see are manufactured by the same manufacturer. So the top three are by Sun Pharmaceuticals operating out of um, Assam, one in East Sikkim and the uh, third uh, factory is in Telangana. Telma H is manufactured by Glenmark Pharmaceuticals and Deflazacort is manufactured by what reads here is McClure Pharmaceuticals and this is in Daman, all right? And Glenmark is in Himachal Pradesh. I just wanted to bring that uh, just for the understanding of our viewers. Now, what really are the comments? This is where it is interesting and I'd like to get in my doctors as well. The actual manufacturer as per label claim has informed that the impunged batch of the product has not been manufactured by them and it is a spurious drug. The product is purported to be spurious. However, the same is subjected to the outcome of an investigation and this is the reply of the firm which has been noted by the government and this the reply is standard across at least for these five medications. I want to bring in Dr. Sanjeev Bagai. Dr. Bagai, I am sure that this is not the first time certain common drugs have come up in a report uh, where the uh, where the center has found that there's been some sort of adulteration. Uh, how does one really go about this process? Because like I said, there are certain names like paracetamols and pantacid. I mean, I was on pantacid just two weeks ago because of the viral in Delhi. So my doctor, of course, prescribed an antacid to me as well. How do you now explain to our viewers what is it that we need to do as consumers of these medicines? What is the level of concern or panic one needs to show? Good evening. I think this is a extremely serious issue. Uh, there have been sequential lapses uh, down the chain at multiple levels. So from uh, everyone's understanding point of view, uh, the cracks in the system or the lapses could occur at the time of production, procurement of the raw material, uh, the assembly line of at the time of, uh, of manufacturing in the factory, the mixing, the packaging, cold chain maintenance, the entire supply chain management, the distribution into the pharmacies and chemists. Now, this can have catastrophic and epic ramifications. The issue is there are some drugs which are over the counter like paracetamol like uh, like it has been mentioned or uh, uh, pantoprazole which is for gastritis nausea vomiting and things which will not probably cause serious side effects but will not help either the real issue is when you are talking in terms of spurious drugs or contamination or adulteration they can have less potency that means your doses concentration is less 
it can have harmful ingredients especially things like powder chalk mercury arsenic other kinds of poisons cement particles starch and so on they have serious side effects per se but more worrying is when you are taking medicines which are anti diabetic or for hypertension your medical condition can rapidly worsen if your drugs are not working if your drugs are not acting or it is at a lower concentration or a lower dose because a person will only go to a place to pick up the medicines he doesn't know what the concentration is the over the counter prescription especially of various even anti hypertensives and anti diabetics without bills in pharmacies and chemists i think needs to come under a gamut of scrutiny we need stricter laws we need stricter punishments but i must say if all the accolades and the pro profits are going to pharmaceutical companies they also have to carry the burden of the backlash of this you can't run away from the responsibility the pharmacies which are dispensing must produce the batch numbers where they have procured it from and who the suppliers are so i think a detailed investigation is required but i think it's a word of caution go to recognize large pharmacies go and buy medicines of known company brands so that you are in a safe zone over to you okay dr bagai thank you for those opening comments i want to bring in uh dr ishwar gilada into the conversation as well dr gilada i'd like to understand from your perspective when the when the manufacturers say that uh, the impunged batch of the product has not been manufactured by them and that in fact it is a spurious drug how do the agencies then go about in identifying what were those batches um what are the pharmacies that are selling them and also what is it that the consumers then need to do what is the consumer awareness that we need to have in our country because i ask that because a lot of times when we also go to the chemist or to a pharmacy and the doctor has prescribed drug a but the pharmacy does not have it and the person uh, over the counter says uh, you know take drug b instead because it's the same sort at the end of the day and we also end up taking that not really looking into why is it that the doctor has prescribed drug a specifically how does one then have some sort of a consumer awareness movement in the nation as well that could perhaps reduce the possibilities of pharmacies and chemists then just supplying Uh, whatever medicines are coming their way and we don't really know like i said at the end of the day how do we know why drug a is not present in that particular chemist shop see uh, thank you very much for having me on the show this very important issue being discussed consumer awareness in the absence of robust system is going to be consumer panic and that's what uh, is going to happen uh, ever since this issue has come today there are lots of patients calling particularly about medicine whether this is there or good or not now patient or doctors they cannot uh, certify whether the medicines are proper or not it is the job of pharmaceutical company either they are doing their own manufacture or they sometimes get loan uh, manufacturing so loan license manufacturing they have to secondly cdsco is a government of india agency but the implementation is with the state government and state government have fda that is food and drug administration so when you talk about food and drug administration their major time is spent in food rather than drug and every district have one or two food inspectors or drug inspectors so it is machinery is not enough secondly we are at a crossroad when india is known as a pharma capital of the world on other hand we would like to be part of g7 countries becoming g8 countries we just shared the g20 countries so at such a high level we are and if such things are there that will shake the confidence of people in medicines so therefore at this stage we cannot have any kind of consumer awareness we should have robust system we should have government coming out uh, very much with the iron hand that these are the action taken the second issue is the medicine which are used are very popular you me and every uh, patient is taking those medicine but most importantly there are three four medicine which are labeled one is uh, uh, atropine adrenaline and uh, deflavoxacin they are life saver medicine so and uh, patients are on end stage we use this medicine as a last resort if that last resort doesn't work pay, uh, doctors will get uh, kind of beaten up by the patients so i think in that kind of situation you talk about antibiotic if antibiotic doesn't work lot of people or practitioner they are not doing 
drug sensitivity test before starting antibiotic. So by empirical order we start some medicine. If it doesn't work, we start another medicine. Then we do culture and sensitivity. Here it, they will not work. We have anti-hypertensive, we are anti-diabetic, we have anti-allergic. So almost all the medicines are there. That is one hand. On the other hand, there are big pharma companies. What, what Sanju uh, 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 has said that uh, we should buy medicine from a known pharma companies. But they are all well-known pharma companies. So in this situation, it is onus is on pharma companies, onus is on government, and onus is on all those people which are running the machinery. Onus cannot be on doctors, onus cannot be on patients. The most important thing what uh, uh, has been raised is OTC, over the counter sell. Nowhere in the world you can get medicine as much as you get in India. If you can get any medicine, either is a X schedule, Y schedule, Z schedule medicine are available. And on the one prescription, which is issued for one year, two years before, people can go and uh, uh, buy medicines. So I think this is something which is not acceptable as a system in the country. And then coming the issue of generic, generic, generic branded and purely generic from a generic. So uh, from one company itself, they have a, they have a uh, which, which is called branded generic. Then they have a branded generic from a generic division of that company. So they have a lot of buffer margin in that people will sell any kind of drug. We write a prescription, the person goes to the chemist shop, chemist shop says no, A is not available, B is available. Suddenly they call doctor, doctor says okay, chalega. Because we, we also are helpless. Yeah, when the patient goes there and the particular medicine is not available and onus comes on doctor at that time, that doctor should write, we are writing what is the content of the medicine. But still patient do not get those medicine. So I think uh, there is a lot of buffer margin, some medicine of the same content is available for 10 rupee, the same medicine is available for 1 rupee. And both may be from the same pharma company. So I think the government has to come down very heavily, uh, remove this kind of buffer margin. Everybody has a right to earn, but they don't have a right to cheat people. You earn your decent margin of a wholesaler, retailer, etc. But you cannot have two rupees thing sold for 10 rupees because MRP is 10 rupees. Yes, but at the same time, okay, I want to bring in... Uh, uh, Dr. Prashant Sinha into the conversation as well. Dr. Prashant Sinha, firstly, your first thoughts on when this report uh, came out. And like I said, how does the public then become more and more aware? What is it that we need to evolve as far as safety standards of medications are concerned? Should there be some sort of a label on each of the... Uh, on each and every packet of medication that we're buying? Because I'm trying to understand how does one save themselves uh, from such a situation in the future because 53 drugs not passing a standard test and l like we've said some of these are truly household names I was literally on one of these medications two weeks back because of the viral that's in the air in Delhi so of course when I read such a report somewhere in my mind I do go into a bit of a panic have I consumed the wrong drug is it going to have some serious side effects? What do I need to do? What are your thoughts, sir? Well, good evening to all and the viewers. See, uh, perhaps what I would start with that it has come from the horse's mouth. It is a government agency of government of India uh, which has published this report, which has brought this uh, to the notice of the citizens of this country. Then the solution also has to come from the government itself. Because we in India, we have got this industry absolutely in an, it runs in an absolutely unorganized manner. Like you said that the, uh, the renowned companies or the good companies, they have shied away from the responsibility saying that we have outsourced it. So that means their mechanism of outsourcing their production is also against, uh, that also comes uh, with a big question mark. Besides that, the when, once the government is bringing these kind of things uh, in front of the public, then they should try to introspect from within themselves that what is the drug controller doing in India? Why aren't they sampling? Why aren't they testing these samples from each and every uh, manufacturing hub which is running across the country. See, for example, if you ask me, there are a lot of companies which are uh, running from Baddi. A lot of companies, they are manufacturing drugs in Kalyani. Now, there may be many other uh, cities or uh, towns where these uh, uh, companies have suddenly mushroomed 
around because of their uh, uh, because of their convenience of their tax liabilities but then the thing is that the drug the drug controller is in fact they are not closely monitoring how the things are as far as the consumer is concerned as everyone said these are very common drugs and you can't shy away from uh, the drugs that which are being sold and no one has got a, a mechanism to check what kind of everyone buys with an intent that they are buying a good medicine then the chemist around the country they uh, uh, they try to sell the drugs or the medicines which give them the maximum profit you will ask for as you said that you ask for drug a they will give you a drug b which which they have got larger margins for their uh, personal benefits so the government has to take care it is not that the, the we as a uh, as an individual or as a, as a citizen can help with that but the yes the government has to strengthen its security norms the their testing norms besides that they have they should monitor but we should have a very very secure distribution distributive uh, distribution mechanism from the place where these drugs are manufactured then delivered to the distributors and then they come uh, to the local chemist that can in fact ensure these uh, the quality of the drugs because maybe the company is manufacturing perfectly or their outsourced uh, hubs are manufacturing good drugs but then there are there is a lot of malpractices going everywhere it is not in india but it happens in other countries as well but those things can also sneak into our system the spurious drug lot can also come into the system and that can uh, be uh, sold in the general market and the consumer will be absolutely unaware about it then you mentioned about uh, some kind of hologram or a logo on that see these kind of holograms in today's digital advanced uh, world that is not a difficult thing to procure you will a, a company x would put in their hologram the same kind of the next day you can procure it from any other source that particular hologram and they will put the same hologram on uh, their spurious drugs and they will supply it across the country so the only mechanism what i personally feel is that we should have an absolutely secure mechanism from like we maintain the cold chains for certain vaccines or so, so certain medicines that is why that's that way only we should have a very secure distribution mechanism where each and every drug is manufactured which is monitored by the government it gets distributed to uh, uh, what uh, legal distributors and to the chemist this is the way i personally feel that we can get rid of these kind of uh, reports and uh, the the patient should definitely not be suffering everyone buys these drugs with good intent but you never know uh, they come across what kind of side effects or whether if not side effects whether these medicines are effective or not all right i want to bring dr sanjeev bagai into the conversation dr bagai uh, talking about solutions uh, what really comes to your mind as far as looking into spurious drugs uh, is concerned how what would be your recommendations and suggestions to the government uh, how does one go about it because it's a huge industry and it takes a couple of these reports to really also tarnish the image of the industry as a whole so it's a dichotomy because if you look at the indian healthcare system it's perhaps one of the most over regulated system in terms of healthcare delivery system on the other hand the most unregulated sector is the pharmaceuticals as far as the pharmacies and the chemists are concerned it is not difficult at all to pick up any medication over the counter even without a handwritten bill home deliveries online deliveries has actually created more cracks as far as the security is concerned of the medication supply chain so i think we need more people in the enforcement department for auditing for uh, random checks for checking the batches checking the potency of the drugs and the ingredients we need stricter laws i think this is uh, under indian penal code uh, it carries a life imprisonment but i don't remember at least in my living memory that anyone has been given life imprisonment for such a, such a crime i think we need stricter laws stricter implementation and a huge public awareness that we should pick up medicines of known brands from a known chemist i still repeat the same known pharmacy or chemist 
a lot of medications come from the inner parts of India outside the metros and they look exactly the same. So I think it's the onus of responsibility needs to be fixed. Farmers, supply chain, chemists, but some actionable punishment should be meted out. Name them, shame them so that it's not repeated again. Over to you. Okay, I want to bring in Dr. Gilara back into the conversation as well. Dr. Gilara, what would your recommendations be to the government? One should come out that out of how many samples they tested, they got 53 uh, as substandard. The denominator is not decided. Once you know denominator, then we know the quantum of the problem. That is number one. Number two, uh, the, their impurity up to 4% is allowed. So any, any no no drug is 100% uh, pure. So 4% impurity is allowed. So when uh, some uh, drugs have impurity, whether it is how many percent that 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 is another important. Spurious medicine is not allowed. So any kind of uh, A medicine label and uh, inside there is a B medicine that is not allowed. And thirdly, some companies said that these medicines are not manufactured by us. Somebody else is manufacturing not, and not marketed by us. So somebody is doing a spurious business. That is never allowed. And those kind of people should be really punished with the highest kind of punishment. Now, this time, for the first time, there is a Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizer and Ministry of Health is under one person. And Dr. Mr. J.P. Nadda is a minister. Earlier, there used to be two different ministers for two different departments. And serious CO deals with both the, uh, because ingredients are chemical, the Ministry of Chemical, and final product is a medical, medical department. So currently, the same person is there. So I think uh, Mr. Nadda should sit with all these people, decide what is to be done. And there has to be an accountability both at the central level, national, uh, state level and the uh, individual level. And Druggist and Chemist Association, whatever strong they may be, they may go on strike. But they are not allowed to do this kind of uh, uh, malpractices. We should remove the buffer margin, which is there, say 10 rupees uh, worth of medicine is available for 2 rupees. There is a huge buffer margin. So we do not know whether the two rupees is worth or is uh, one rupee only. So that buffer margin should be re reduced. And once that is regulated, then our name will be there. Otherwise, uh, nobody has a patriotism. We uh, believe big pharma companies will have patriotism. That has to be there in the four everywhere. Every time only blame comes on doctors because the doctor is on the forefront treating the patient. And whereas somebody else is doing something and the doctor has to bear all the brunt. So I think we, we must uh, I, I think like-minded people, it has opened a Pandora's box. It is not going to die down so easily. There will be huge things, but the government will have to act with iron hands. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.